Oh, hey. Uh, half a point. Half round a point. two. Round two. All right. Um, what do you think the number one cocktail made in the U.S. is? Is it a martini a cocktail? Yeah. 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 Martini. All right. Kurt, what do you say? Um, rum and Coke? Okay. I can see the answer, so I'm not going to guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, dry Martini is, yes, the hey! correct answer. Yay! Rum and Coke, actually the 15th. The <laughs> order. You were close. The 15th. Close. Uh, made the list. Uh, number one, Dry Martini. Manhattan, Whiskey hey, Sour, Manhattan. Bloody Mary, Gimlet, Daiquiri, Tom Collins, Old Fashioned. I don't know who's ordering those still. True, I can't Margarita, Screwdriver, Bacardi, like Stinger, Harvey Wallbanger, Gin and Tonic, Rum and Coke. Hmm. All right, and the final round. <clears throat> These are like short answer uh, scenario situations, all right? First one, Dustin has made a pot pie for his friends. Uh, what would you drink with this meal? Be it like wine, a beer, other one. All right. If it was a chicken pot pie, what kind of wine do I want? Or beer? You said or white wine. wine. White wine? Yeah. What if it was a turkey pot pie? Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe a red wine, rosé. A, a I, I don't really like turkey. So what about beef? What if it was beef? Red wine, for sure. Spam. Spam. Ooh. I'm going to have to say a 40 of King Cobra. Hey. Oh. I'm going to run you about a buck 25, but it is worth every ounce. Perfect. Last one here. Oh, no, excuse me. This is uh, this is Evan. This is multi-part. Evan is getting a cake for the office for all the November birthdays. Oh, Evan. You what kind should he get? Is that, is that what it is? What kind it's of cake November. should he get? It's November. It's November. Yeah. What kind of cake should he get? Um, I don't know, maybe like a, a pumpkin cake or a carrot cake. Those okay. are kind of seasonal. I never eat that. Next part. Well, but Why would it's I not your, is your birthday in November? Next part I of the question. Next cake. part of the question. Bastard. Why did Evan pick up a pie when we asked him to get cake? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, that was really a question. Yes. Um, it the really pie happened. looked better. Okay. No, the pie was what Evan wanted. This is just like him. He never listens. Final part. Will Evan ever <laughs> learn? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. Yeah. Number three. Sam is enjoying a meal of fried chicken, turnip greens, and watermelon. What should he be watching on television? Whoa. Whoa. Sam's Caucasian. <laughs> President Obama's acceptance speech. All right. I, I was going to say Nova, but that's fine. Nova. Um, <laughs> Mystery Science Theater. Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. You, no, Final. there's only one answer. Sam only watches one show. Oh, House. 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 <laughs> and final question. Final question. Kurt is eating bull testicles. You bet mm. I am. How Rocky do you make him stop? Rocky Mountain Oysters. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Uh, y- you grab hold of him and ask him to cough. <laughs> so. Sorry, those got to lower you <laughs> Swallow first, then cough. <laughs> oh, that's good. We're going to do one more thing here, uh, and you're going to help us, I guess. Um, I guess. We're going to do a segment called Pretending in Peoria. Um those of us here are going to create, uh, and and your lovely husband Adam is over there just hey, Adam. drinking the night me. away, <laughs> um, so he can also be a part of this. Uh, the Pippers here, we're going to create a restaurant. We're going to start our own restaurant here in Chicago. You're going to help. Mm. Um, so obviously, I'm going to be the owner of the restaurant. Obviously, obviously, obviously. <laughs> you're the fucking yeah. mayor. You're the high priest. <laughs> yeah, you're the guy who walks into the bar. You know, everything. fancy terms like cooking and baking. <laughs> <laughs> Salties and sweeties. And sweeties. <laughs> Kurt is going to be, well, half of Kurt's going to be the maitre d'. The <laughs> other half is going to be the, the, the bus boy. Yeah. <laughs> I happen to be half Mexican. <laughs> Evan's half running the books. washing dishes. Evan's running the books. <laughs> is that some sort of juice? <laughs> oh. Sam will be our chef. He's not even here, but uh, we'll just tell him what to do. Um, Adam, what do you want to do in the restaurant here, buddy? Uh, Eat. He's just going to be, he's he's gonna be the taste <laughs> tester. <laughs> he's going to show up every night. And then you're going to be our consultant, okay? All right. If you were in this in this economy today, what kind of restaurant should we have? <laughs> in this economy, what are we thinking? <laughs> opening do, do we know that most restaurants fail in the first year? <laughs> <laughs> I think you want to open up something that's going to appeal to a lot of people and it isn't going to be terribly expensive, but it's still going to be better food than you would get at McDonald's. So I would say maybe like an upscale comfort food place. Or that's oh! what we talked about, yes. yes. Or that is correct. Yeah, we're yeah. going to do a comfort food restaurant. A lot of things on sticks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot Meatloaf. Of, a lot of things with cheese. I hope. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. A lot nice. of cheese. Uh, Any pupper dogs? What, what, what was? <laughs> pupper dogs. <laughs> what was the pups. thing? Oh, I can't like Tasty pops. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so comfort food. Um, what 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 should be our dish that we're known for? 
Well, mm. I, I, I actually Excited, said... Excited nachos on a stick. Right, right exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the appetite. I'm copywriting that, by the way, so <laughs> I will see you. Fine, have you at it. Stick of nachos. Um, I, I, I said that what was going to draw the people in is, is the actual dining experience, wherein you come in your pajamas... Wait, that is... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. I'm done. Ah, thanks. You guys have food? Um, I could go for you a chicken are. burrito. But yeah. <laughs> you you arrive in, in your PJs. And, um, <laughs> you arrive in your PJs and you dine in a sleeping bag. You just get kind of get cozy up. So it's like the pool. Table. Yeah. Wow. But then there's gonna be like yeah. food in the bag. I don't. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't think I would like that though. No. I I go to eat for the food. It's absolute comfort. So you can like all, share, all the waitresses. Sleeping bags. All the waitresses are moms. Like kind of, kind of slightly overweight moms. And just Are like, any of them milks? Yeah, no, 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 no. They're 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 beautiful. They're not hot. They're all they're all nice. They're all just making macaroni and cheese. But, but here's here's, here's my off. issue is I mean I I guess having things on a stick is handy when you're eating in a sleeping bag. True. But everything else I I imagine. What if I get a little a little like lobe of macaroni and cheese and then I go to bed later that night and it squishes all over me and I wake up. Drenched in cheese. Well, oh, it's it. our sleeping bag. You're not taking it you're, home. You're not sleeping there. See, like, you cannot dress me in pajamas, <laughs> give me food, put me in a sleeping bag, and expect me to, like, give it back to you. Yeah, one of the, one of the moms comes over, gives you a kiss on the forehead. Every time they come out, they're stirring something. Who, cha- <laughs> who changes the sheets? Like, when I have out. my night terror. It's like those old, uh, it's like those old like Rice Krispie commercials where they have like the uh, powder of the. Uh, yeah, exactly. They just throw the flour, flour on their face. face. Yeah, exactly. Most of them are wearing body suits. Oh. To make them I actually, cool. when I was in Australia, I made uh, Rice Krispie treats for one of the ladies. It was her birthday, and a, a lot of the people in the class were Australian and Asian, and they had never seen. I blew oh their minds away with Rice wow. Krispie treats. I rocked their world. I even threw, like, the flour on my face as I came in. They're just like, what's in this? Marshmallow? Wow. And Rice Krispie? Yeah. Well, how do, we come how, how do you get rice to be crispy? Okay, so what, what, what did we decide our other food was? Uh, yeah, we've only got the two. We've got Shepherd's Pie. Shepherd's Pie is a good pie. comfort food. No, it's no, not. It's That's not. too much. What? Yeah. Well, Sam is pie. making this. If this is an American, this is stuff, is this American Sam, comfort food, or are you doing comfort Sam food knows around how, the world? Sam, you know Sam only well. knows how to make ramen noodles with chicken nuggets on them. Oh, wow. <laughs> he does like that a lot. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> like, Sam, I didn't order a cupcake. You're going to take the cupcake. We also serve cheese ball soup, which is tomato soup with uh, like <laughs> Cheeto cheese balls. Joe Cerisi's favorite. Nice. I think it's American comfort food, which is mostly take out from other restaurants near our restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would save you on hiring. Exactly. Yeah. Who had the who had like the, the cold chicken sesame? Anybody had the uh, chicken crispers? General <laughs> Chow. <laughs> Calling General Chow. Table 14, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I ordered. Oh, well. <laughs> I think it'd be, for me, it'd just be like cold pizza, things like that. You know, that'd be on the menu. Actually, cold fried chicken. That would oh, be, yeah. That would be delicious. Absolutely. That's a yeah. great breakfast food right yeah. there. Yeah. Actually, when you serve the pizza, just... Just, like, leave a box in the corner of the room and be like, there's your seed. Because <laughs> exactly. they lift it up and about half of it's gone. Right. They're like, oh, that looks so good right now. Do you know I once was at a New Year's Eve party of people I didn't know, and I found a random half-eaten box of pizza on the floor, and I ate a slice. <laughs> nice. But I didn't tell anyone. Can you mind if I take a slice? <laughs> no, I didn't even ask. No, I didn't ask. I ate it and I like ran and hid, so no one would like yell at me for eating because it was good pizza. Is it New York style or, or Chicago in our restaurant? It, it was stuffed. No, in ours. Well, oh, well. in yours? Um, oh, Chicago. Come on. All right, yeah. come on. Yeah. Although I do love a good slice. Why don't, we, why don't we do? Oh, why don't we do like half half? Like half the piece of Chicago style. Why don't we do a Chicago style with wrapped <laughs> in a New York style <laughs> on a stick and fried with bacon? Yeah. All the like way that Taco it. Town commercial. Oh, from God. That's what they're making. <laughs> That's what the moms are just making when they come out. They're just wrapping pizzas. <laughs> hey. You guys want to watch some cartoons? I'll be done in a minute. Oh, no. that sounds so good. I love cartoons. <laughs> I well, we'll, oh, play, we'll play cartoons at the same time. Yeah. What's the name of our restaurant? Nobody ever leaves. No, what? That's what it's called. I don't know. I wouldn't leave. Why would you go anywhere? It has to have a good Eat cream. it. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. Get in here. And then you could have that Weird Al Yankovic song playing in the background. Oh, I hate that song so then much. Oh, my leave. God. Yeah. No, it's not he like He doesn't a... like you, Evan, okay? He <laughs> doesn't like you. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you do to Weird Al? I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, like I love that guy. So, yeah. So, we'll have to come back to the name. Be Evan, mm-hmm. Evan Kurt, be thinking of a name. Fatties. Fatties. We're going to call it fatties or skinnies. Or skinnies. <laughs> Either way, 